Hello everyone, Carson here, and in today's video, I'm going to be taking you through seven steps to rebrand your old website. It's always crucial to create a great first impression to any visitors coming to your website. And if your website has been around for a while, odds are it is outdated. So today I'm going to be kind of explaining why a rebrand might be necessary and the steps you need to take to do it. Now the first key step you need to take is take this opportunity of your rebrand to move to a better platform. When you're creating a website, it's always important and essential to pick a platform that maximizes your site's potential. A lot of platforms don't do that though, and because of this, even if you have a more modern design, your website might end up feeling clunky and outdated anyways. So I always recommend switching to a new, better hosting platform if you are on a bad one, which you've been on for a while. And I've actually got some links to some hosting platforms at a discount in the description if you want to check them out and pick them up for yourself. I review these by hand and they are handpicked obviously by myself, so you really won't go wrong. So if you wanna do that, check them out. But now back on to step two. The second thing you need to do is back up your old website. Because if you're upgrading, if you're updating it, you know, rebranding can take a lot of changes. And if you make a mistake during those changes, that could be really detrimental and could cause irreversible effects to your website. You might never be able to get it back to the same place it was. So always back up your website. And this is of course another reason to move to a new web host is because some of them will actually back up your website automatically, which is really nice. On to step three though, you need to define your new branding strategy and image. It's always important to have a consistent, memorable branding strategy for your website. And if you don't have that, your website can just end up looking like a jumbled mess. So always define your image and define your branding strategy before you start rebranding your website. Next up, make a list of the most important and obviously like urgent problems with your site. Because you know, if you've got your website, right? And there are some seriously big problems, some seriously major problems, you need to know which ones you need to address. So always start by working from your new branding image and say basically, what matches this image? What do I need to update? What can remain the same? And what is just perfect in alignment with this new branding style? Next up, you're obviously going to have to plan and design the solutions to those issues. So if you have those issues, right, and you, you know, you've now determined what issues you want to change, you need to figure out the solutions to those problems. So you always, you know, you need to go into it with a plan. Do I need to increase my SEO? Do I need to change the design, etc.? You need to understand what you're going to be doing before number six. And on to number six, of course, number six is to implement the changes. With all the solutions, you know, you have compiled. Now all you have to do is go ahead and implement your changes and make sure it works for you. Make sure everything is cohesive and everything is set up properly. Finally, though, you always want to, as I've said, this is a reoccurring theme, have a consistent brand. And to do that, you always want to update all your social media platforms across the web to fit your new branding image. That is going to do it for today, though. So remember to leave a like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.